well, Paul Walker, you had one hell of a last ride. Rest in peace. This is Random Mr. 401's review of Furious 7. Furious 7. Directed by James Wan, Furious 7 is the seventh installment in the Fast and Furious franchise, and this time it takes place after the sixth one, where Owen Shaw's brother has killed Han and is out seeking vengeance against the entire crew, and great action, fast cars, and sexy fights ensue. Going into this one, it had been one of my most anticipated movies of 2015, given that I'm a huge fan, especially of the more recent ones. And this film is no exception to that because Furious 7 is yet another awesome sequel in this franchise. And is this movie perfect? No. But is it extremely badass and fun? You betcha. For starters, the acting in this one is actually surprisingly really good. Now I know that in the Fast and the Furious films there aren't really any requirements for good acting. But I, I guess they were just like, you know, let's just have good acting in this movie. And it was amazing, especially from Paul Walker. And not... I swear I'm not just saying that, this is probably the best performance I've seen him give in a while. I don't really think normally he's that great at brick mansions, I thought he was okay. Um, but always in the Fast and Furious movies actually, I felt like he gave this very likable character's performance and I think that this is his best for the time that he had filmed the scenes. I think that this is definitely his best performance in the entire franchise and even though his brother had to go through. I just think the character of Brian O'Connor was the best this franchise has seen. Also, we have Tyrese Gibson in this movie, who a lot of people found really, really annoying. But I personally thought he was hilarious in this movie. He's kind of like the jokester. They even label him as the jokester in the film. And he just, he's basically this comic relief character, him and Ludacris. And they play off each other so well. And I was just laughing in every scene that those two were in. Now, the one thing that I d thought was really weird in the movie was James Wan's handling of the camera. I mean, he's directed films in the past like Saw, Insidious, The Conjuring, and all those films I love. But, and those have a very similar style of directing. And this one, it has that. But I don't think that James Wan is that great at filming, actually. I'm not saying he's terrible, like anything like Gary Ross from the Hunger Games. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I think he should stick to more horror films directing because all of his films have the same type. And it, this is no exception. And I just think maybe he... I don't think he should have directed this movie, but it's not like the direction was terrible. It was all right. I definitely think Justin Lin does a much, much, much better job. I don't know why he wasn't in this project, but I overall... Eh, James Wan's directing probably the biggest downfall for me in this film. Also, a lot of people are complaining about this movie being 140 minutes to an, 2 hours and 20 minutes. And I honestly felt like that flew by. Like, I was just watching the movie. I was having a great time. And I didn't really feel that time really, like, be that short. So, there's that. And to finish off the review, the tribute at the very end is easily one of my favorite tributes. If not my favorite tribute of all times that I've ever seen. It was, I still watch it. I was just watching it today, and I nearly teared up. Like, it is so sad, but the Fast Furious crew does a fantastic job giving this guy a tribute, and honestly, Paul Walker, you will be missed, but they definitely gave you time and respect at the very end. So, yeah. Overall, Fury 7 is a pretty great sequel to a series that I will always have a special place for in my heart. The final grade is a four and a half out of five stars for Furious 7. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my links will be in the description as always. And until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 401, and I will see you all later.